If you're wondering whether you should use ice or heat for relief from knee arthritis, well, the answer is, stay tuned to find out. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should use ice or heat if you're suffering with knee arthritis. Now I won't keep you in suspense for much longer. The answer to the question of whether you should use ice or heat is it depends. And it depends on a number of factors. Now in order to answer the question better, I think first it would be useful to describe what ice does and then what heat does instead. So ice works by obviously being very cold and when we apply it to our skin, it starts to make the blood vessels around that area close up so they become narrower. Now this restricts blood flow to the area which is very good for removing swelling because it means that the blood vessels are less leaky which means that um, less water builds up around the damaged area which means that swelling should go down. Okay. And the other thing that ice does is it's nature's painkiller. So not only does it have an effect on the blood vessels but it also has an effect on the nerves and it means that the nerves don't transmit as many pain messages up to the brain as they would if you didn't have the ice on there. So ice is very good for reducing swelling and it's also very good for reducing pain in a natural way. Now let's talk about heat. So heat works in the opposite way really. So when we put heat on an area, instead of tightening up, the blood vessels actually open up more. So it improves blood flow to an area. Now, it doesn't have as much of an effect on the nerves as ice, but what heat does do is it has quite a strong effect on the muscles and the soft tissues. And if you can think of your muscles and the soft tissues in your body like plastic, if you heat up plastic, it becomes very flexible and you can bend it and you can move it. Now, a similar type of thing happens to the muscles. So if we put heat on an area that has soft tissue or muscle around it, then the muscles become more flexible. So you almost get the equivalent effect than if you just had a really good stretch. So heat is actually very good for improving blood flow to an area and improving flexibility and mobility. Now let's put all of this together when it comes to knee arthritis. And the reason I say it depends what you should use when you're suffering with knee arthritis is because everyone's knee arthritis is slightly different. So if you're someone who has a quite a mobile knee, but it's very painful and it's very swollen, we might suggest that you start off using ice because if you can still move it quite well, but every time you walk on it, it gets sore and maybe it becomes quite puffy and swollen, the ice will first of all bring down some of that swelling and secondly it should help you with the pain. So using ice on the, um, on the painful area, obviously protect the skin for 15 minutes at a time, then take it off, let the area heat back up to its natural temperature and then you can apply it again if you wish. That would be really good for this person. Now on the other hand if you have someone who doesn't have that much pain but their knee is incredibly stiff and they just can't bend it fully or straighten it fully or it takes 15, 20, 30 minutes in the morning to start to get it moving, for this person heat might be better. Okay so putting a hot water bottle or a warm compress or a, a wheat cushion that you've used in the microwave over that area for 15 minutes, same as you would for the ice, that will help to improve the movement, improve the flexibility of the muscles and help your knee move a little bit better and not be as stiff for as long. So really those are the, the ways I look at um, ice and heat. If you're suffering from pain and swelling, you would go down the ice route. And if you're just stuck suffering from stiffness and lack of flexibility, you would go down the heat route. Now this isn't a golden rule, it doesn't work for everyone. And some people, even if they have pain there, they might find that the, um, the heat works better and vice versa. If they have stiffness, they might find that the ice works better. So it's not a perfect science, but it's definitely a starting point. Now, if you're using either of these techniques, make sure you always protect the skin. You don't want to end up with either an ice burn or a real burn. And um, 15 minutes is enough to do the trick. And there is no limit to how many times you can do it. You can do it little and often all the way throughout the day 
and not cause yourself any harm. Anyway, that's all I've got for you on the topic of ice or heat for knee arthritis. The same advice holds true for arthritis in any other joint in the body. So you can use this for your hands, your ankles, your shoulder, your hips, everything, okay? Even the spine. And if you want more tips like this one and how to improve mobility and pain with arthritis, there's lots more in my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and it'll give you loads more tips like this. Other than that, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. And if you've got a minute, make sure you follow the channel and like this video. Other than that, I hope you have a great week. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to speaking to you on the next episode.